up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. This is our Barbie the Movie inspired backyard. We made it in a previous video, and I was thinking this could be an easy printable backdrop. So I took a picture and printed it out, then glued it to poster board or foam board. I'm gluing mine to a piece of foam board and wrapping it over the top edge. Then I glue it to another piece of foam board with a sky background or a quick background for doll photos. And as long as we keep the focus on the doll in the front, it doesn't look too bad. This free printable is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. But I'm gonna use the one we crafted, if you don't mind. In our last video, we said that we wanted to come up with some Barbie the Movie inspired looks using stuff we already have. So I guess we need to head over to our closet and see what we can use. Barbie Fashionista number 209 is $10 on Amazon. Well, $10.99 currently. But her dress can totally give us the feel of Barbie's pink gingham dress. A Made to Move Barbie runs about $15 to $16.99, assuming that you don't currently own any of these items. To create this doll, it is $27.98. The official doll is about $25, so we're not really saving any money here, unless a Made to Move body is a must, because then you're tacking on another $16.99. But if you already have a Barbie and you just want the dress, then you're looking at $10.99. Unless you already own the dress, and in that case, you're not spending anything extra. And that's a price tag that I like. Speaking of our doll wardrobe, this dress came in a fashion pack a few years back. It's a pink gingham and totally gives that Barbie feel. Let's take our made to move Barbie's hair down. She does have a center part. Give her a hot water rinse. And of course I used real hot water off camera. Now I just comb it out. Let's separate two strands in the front. Pull the front up, secure with a rubber band. Add a ribbon to make an inspired hairdo. I went with a 1 8 inch ribbon and I cut it to the length of her hair. Let's take this dress from the Barbie Sweet Orchard Farm fashion pack. In person, this dress is actually like a white, pink, and plum. But I think it still works for a fun little inspired look. I put the red ribbon in the back, so all we see is the pink print in the front. We have a pink gingham top. I think it's from a fashion pack and I paired it with some pink polka dot shorts. Those shorts are one size fits most, so they are a little large. This is a little more casual, and of course we can always go with jean shorts and rock the pastels. The Barbie Princess Adventure movie gave us pink pajamas. This was from a fashion pack, and since there are Barbie the Movie fashion packs, I thought this could be a fun sub and I'm totally adding it to the wardrobe. Ooh, what about a bathing suit? I've had this bathing suit for a while and I don't remember where it came from, but we're gonna add a little pink cover up for a poolside look. Pink Barbie pants with an elastic waistband, plus pink jacket from Barbie Eco Leadership Dolls, plus a pink sparkly top gives us a Gloria inspired look. She looks all businessy. Can we do this blue dress for the blue striped dress from the Barbie the Movie fashion pack? This also came from a fashion pack and it's one size fits most. Or better yet, this blue striped romper. It came in a fashion pack a few years back. Yeah, I love this. For President Barbie, we need a pink and gold gown. I have this from a Barbie fashion pack and it is pink and gold. There is also this Dream Ella dress that came out over the holidays. Now this one is not Barbie, but it gives us a little more length. Or we can take the gold dress from the Naturalista's Dana doll, since we're mixing brands. 
and I'm going to remove the logo and just focus on having a gold dress. But if you just gotta have that pink, let's gather a little pink tool to make a little faux boa. Place it around her arms, making this look super glam. Okay, Madam President, for her disco look, I'm kind of at a loss. Could this work? Or is that more 80s? I don't know fashion and time periods. Well, I guess I could just Google it. Hmm. I have this pink Barbie dress. It came with one of those designer fashion kits. I think we could just sew it down the middle and turn it into some pants. I placed it onto the doll inside out. Mark where we need to sew it. Since this dress is a little loose, I just cut it down the middle, then sew along the inside to turn the dress into a sparkly pink jumpsuit. It's pink like the Western outfit and sparkly like the disco jumpsuit. I'm gonna say this is a two for one, even though it's totally giving disco. Now, Ken. The Barbie the movie Ken is $25. And in a previous video, we put him on the Barbie Looks doll number 18 body. So that's 22 plus 25. We're looking at about 47 for this look. Now, Barbie Fashionista Ken number 211 is running about $10.99 currently on Amazon. That is definitely a lower cost option. And we get a pink and greenish shirt, which seems to be a running trend with Ken. If you have Ken number 167, then you can make him made to move. And of course, you can swap heads to get the look that you want. If that doll is not currently in your collection, then I've seen it running on Amazon at 22 plus the 10. We're now at 32. And this one's at 25 before the muscles and with some reduced articulation. So, plus I really want the shirt and the shorts to match. So Barbie Extra Fly Ken might be an option. He's still rocking the pink and green. It's a matching set, but he's $25 and has the same articulation as the Barbie the Movie Ken. So I decided to dig through my dolls and get Barbie Looks doll number five. He's blonde with blue eyes, has rooted hair. I did remove his lower eyelashes a while back and I kind of stole his made to move body. But that's okay because we're gonna swap their heads. I place the dolls in a plastic bag then into hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. Place it onto the new body, which is Barbie Looks doll number 18. I saturate the top of his hair with a little gel, working it through. Then I use a comb to style it. When you get it just the way you want, allow it to dry. And since this is Ken, I think he could use a clean shave. So I'm using a little nail polish remover to remove his facial hair. To make our custom kin. And the Barbie Extra Fly outfit fits a little easier, so we have that option as well. So it is great to know that we have some options. We can create some Barbie the Movie inspired looks using fashion from Barbie fashionistas, items we might already have in our Barbie wardrobe, mix and match brands, alter a piece or two, create a custom doll, or get the official ones. And I just bought the Disco Kin because for me, that one is a must have. That, and I didn't have anything in my doll wardrobe. Thank you for joining us while we checked out some Barbie the Movie inspired looks. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.